Hi, I'm Qingxin Yu from Baidu Research. I'm glad to present our paper, m Quality, a Unified Model for Knowledge Effect Embedding. In the talk, first I will introduce the tasks and challenges. Second, I will introduce our model. Then I will go to the model learning part. Finally, I will show the experimental results. Knowledge Graph Organize human knowledge in a graph structure. The nodes are entities where the edges are variations between the entities. We use HRT to denote a fact table that is head entity, variation, and tail entity. The link prediction task is to answer two types of queries, predict the tail entity or predict the head entity. The triple classification task is to predict whether the back triple is true or false. Knowledge graph embedding, also known as KGE, methods find appropriate embeddings for entities and variations and appropriate math computations for logical reasoning. A major challenge for KGE is that the variations have complex behaviors. The variation can be symmetric like it's married to, the variation can be skew symmetric like has gender. One variation may be the immersion of another variation, for example, has child is the immersion of variation has parent. One variation may be the combination of two variations. One variation may be non-injective, it can be n to one. Two fact triples of a variation have different heads. It can be one to n. Well, two fact triples of a variation have different tails and the same head entity. It can also be both n to one and one to n. Then we call it n to n. To our knowledge, existing KGE methods do not have theoretical guarantees to model this complex variation behavior. We propose matrix quadruple embedding and quality to tackle the challenge. We follow translation distance embedding methods and consider non-injective variations. We use MHR to represent the variation transformation of a head entity. The score function is the distance between MHR and T. For example, trans E embeds the entities and the variations as vectors. The score function is h plus r minus t. For n to 1 variations, the model should transform different head entity vectors into a very small local region around the tail entity vector. However, in the existing methods like trans e and rotate e, the mapping function mhr is injective. MH1R, MH2R differ for different head entities. To solve the problem, let's consider the linear transformation y equals to r times x. If r is singular, it can model non injective relationships. If r is non singular, it can model injective relationships. So we embed a variation as a matrix for n to 1 relation we design MHR as linear transformation of head entities. For 1 to n relations, we design MRT as a linear transformation of tail entities. The score function is the distance between the head embeddings and MRT. To model n to n relations, we combine the approach and use a matrix pair R and R hat. We let the linear transformation of head entity approximate the linear transformation of tail entity. This subsumes the one relation matrix method because if we define a new matrix R3 equals to R times the inverse of R hat, then the two embedding equations are equivalent. By this way, we can model 1 to n, n to 1, and n to n relations. Following the approach, we designed the model to consider symmetry, inversion, and composition. We propose m quality 
which represents a back triple with a metric quadruple. We find that if we use a symmetric matrix for entity representations and design a score function, we can achieve a unified modeling of the various variation properties. The number of parameters of our approach is comparable to previous vector-based methods. We theoretically prove that m -quad e can achieve a unified modeling of the variations. We summarize the results in the table. You can see the proof in our paper if you are interested. Our model learning follows previous works. We do negative sampling and use a self adversarial loss function to learn the model parameters. We have constraints and regularization for the embedding matrix. We constrain the entity matrix to be symmetric, so we parameterize it by A plus A transpose, where A is a low triangular matrix. For relation matrix, we hope it can adapt to be singular for non-injective relations, and it can keep the norm of the entity matrix in transformation. So we design the following regularization term to let the singular values to be 1 or 0. We do experiments on two tasks. One is link prediction, but we rank entities by scores to answer the variation query. Another is triple classification, where we classify the fact triple by the prediction probability. For link prediction tasks on the free base dataset, mQuality outperforms the baseline method. Especially for non-injective variations, 1 to n, n to 1, and n to m, mQuality is good at predicting the difficult n site. On Yago 310 dataset, mQuality also outperforms the baseline method. For triple classification experiments, we evaluate on Yago 3 TC benchmark dataset. The fact triples in Yago 3 TC are labeled by human. The negative samples are much more difficult than the previous randomly generated negative false fact triples. So this dataset is very challenging. From the results, we can see that except for recall, m quality outperforms the baseline methods, especially on precision and accuracy. Both metrics are very important for triple classification. In ablation study, we find that the performance improved with the increase of the embedding matrix dimension and the regularization constraint of the anti-relation matrix boosts the perform performance. m quality are better than the baseline methods with both uniform negative sampling laws and the self-adversarial laws. We look into the embedding relation matrix, compute the stable rank, which is the numerical version of a matrix rank. We define rank deficiency as the matrix dimension minus the stable rank. It is the numerical version of the non-space dimension. Large rank deficiency indicates that the linear transformation can map many different and linearly independent matrix X into the same matrix. We compute the average rank deficiency for different variations. The left part in the figure shows that the variation matrix of 1 to n, n to 1, and n to n variations are large. Let's look at a concrete example. In the right part of the figure, we can see that all the singular values of the 1 to 1 variation are about 1. The singular values of the end-to-end relation are close to 1 or 0. 
So mQuality can adapt to use a singular matrix for non-injective variations. To summarize, mQuality is a unified model for knowledge fact embedding. It has good performance on link prediction and triple classification. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for listening.